I'm not in your way Cause you walked out so fast yesterday No, I don't think you're here to stay No, I don't think you're here to stay So tell me what you want Tell me how you want it Tell me all the reasons that you're running away I don't think you're here to stay No, I don't think you're here to stay No, no, no I just wanna be with you You know it. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all having an amazing day or night. Let's get in here. Let's let's chat. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're all well. I'm back. I'm better than ever. Doing all right. Feeling good. Everybody seems to be in a good mood. Let's have a little chat with everybody. Let's see who's here. Lolly's in the chat. Who knew Lolly was going to be here today? I did. Gertie's in the chat. Who knew she was going to be here today? I personally did, and everybody else in the chat knew as well. M's back. What's up, M? How you doing? Uh, Aisha's in the house. What's up, Aisha? That's a high five, not a slap. Uh, Imad's in the house. What's up, Imad? How you doing? Smart English is in the house. I'm in the house. Do, 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 do. House, 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 house music. Uh, who else we got here? Scroll. Pilar's back. What's up, Pilar? Where you been? Where you been, girl? Get in here. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Carmenton's in the house. What's up, Carmenton? Feeling good. Feeling all right today. Michaela's back. What's up, Michaela? How you doing? Who else we got here? Mona's in the house. What's up, Mona? Saeed's in the house. Saeed, Saeed. Uh, Pilar, Pilar said we got Pilar. She's back. Irna, first timer. What's up, Irna? How you doing? Welcome to the chat. Sleepwalker. I don't know who Sleepwalker is, but he seems to know Lolly. Everybody seems to know Lolly. Welcome, Sleepwalker. I'm glad you walked into your computer to check out this chat with us today. That's fun. Only human. I'm good, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate your love. I'm doing all right. I'm doing fine. I'm actually doing more than fine. I'm going to a concert today. Do you guys want to, I want to show you a little bit of what I'm going to be. I'm going to go see this band today. I don't know if you know who these guys are, but they're called Vampire Weekend. And they're kind of an indie band. So let me show you a photo. I don't know if you guys know them. They were pretty popular, I don't know, a few years ago. They're not new. But they're quite, they were quite popular. They were one of the bigger indie bands that came out. I don't know if you know these guys, but they're interesting. Um, 
the recent album, yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of the recent album, but a lot of it was quite good. So if you check that out, this one. So check these guys out, maybe on a Spotify or a YouTube or something like that. Vampire Weekend, they're not too bad. And I'm going to go see that concert tonight. Boop, boop, boop. Maybe a little bit of that, maybe a little bit of questionable dancing. Uh, it's going to be fun. All right, let's go. Uh, what else we got here? Let's go back in. Who else we got here? Uh, I think I've said hello to everybody. So we're good. We're good to go today. So music, we're not, unfortunately, we're not talking about music today. Today, we're going to be talking about, eh, kind of busy, not really, not really busy. Today, we're going to be talking about what, what clauses. I don't know why you consider me a male. <laughs> I'm sorry, only human. I don't know. It just, I just, it was just going with my flow, but no, no, it's cool. Whatever, whatever. You're a human. You're a human. I just, you're right. I shouldn't have said, I guess I never know. I never know. Because honestly, I can't see anybody's profile picture. I just look and I like, you know, I can see Polaris female, but her picture is so small that I can barely tell. So change your profile picture, only human. And I promise I won't confuse your gender anymore. Anyways, Kent makes a lot of mistakes. Please be patient with Kent. He's always making mistakes. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do today. Today we're gonna. You can you can tell what's happened today. I, I drank a real coffee today, and the energy's come back. I got it all back again. I had lightning in my in my veins today. So ah, oh, coffee. It's amazing. It's amazing. I don't know why I left it. Could I repeat the name of the band? Absolutely. The name of the band was Vampire Weekend. And just like Vampire, like this, we can. And can you see that there? Vampire Weekend is right there. So they're pretty cool indie, if you like indie. Not everybody likes indie, but they're, they're kind of interesting. They got some slow songs. They got some, most of their stuff is kind of medium pace. Some of it's fast, but most of it's a little slower. But anyways, I think it's going to be a great show. I'm excited. Hello, Mariam. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Let's jump in. We're going to do what clauses today. So let's look at some what clauses. Um, there's some what words. Maybe we use a what. Maybe we use a who, what, when, where, why, and maybe a how. We might use a how clause. Kent, would you please pronounce Said? Said? <laughs> I need to know how to spell my name. Great question. How, why are you asking me, Said, how to spell your name? I might suggest Said, S-A-E-E-D. I guess that's the way I might write it. If somebody said, "Can you, Kent? Can you spell Said?" I might use double E. No, that's it. Okay, so there we go. Uh, so let's talk about what clauses. We're going to look at some questions. We're going to look at some all the stuff. So let's look at this example. Let, let's start you off with a question. This is an example question. Mm, okay, let me see if I can change this into a question for you. Who is Hmm. No, I, ne I need a don't know. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll come back to that. Anyways, let's look at this. Let's, I'm going to prep you for something here. So who's coming to the party? So here's, here's what we're going to learn today. I don't know who is coming to the party. I don't know who. I don't know what. I don't know why. I don't know when. I don't know where. And I don't know how. You could use any of those words most of the time. So we're going to look at this, uh, for example. So you might say something like this. You could say, I don't know, or you could say more specifically, I don't know who. Number two, you could also ask a question like this. You could say, why did she marry him? Why she married him is a mystery to me. So you can see that the why clause is actually at the beginning of the sentence, and then the verb is there. So this is actually like the subject of the sentence. So that's another way. That's another thing. You We're going to look at some different positions where you can use these kinds of words, these words, and put them in subjects and objects and all these kinds of things. Used with preposition. Okay, so let's, let's ask a question. I got a question for you. Why? And now I want you to give me an answer. And probably your answer will be, I don't know. Why is... I'm giving a political opinion. Here it comes. Why is Donald Trump... Why... Hasn't, oh great question, why hasn't Donald Trump been impeached? Here's a new word for you, impeached yet. What does impeached mean? So when a president does something nutty, 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 you shouldn't do that. For example, talking to the president of another country and trying to get dirt 
information about an opponent in their country, Joe Biden, maybe you might get impeached. So basically, they will have like a trial, like a judge, I believe. And if the president is found guilty, they have to leave. They cannot be president anymore. And I personally hope that it means that the president cannot come back for the next term. Oh my God. I hope this guy's gone soon. Yes. Who's been reading the news? Uh, so, yeah, th th so the news is that uh, basically they say Donald Trump called the president of Ukraine and said, hey, can you get some information about my opponent? Kind of secretly said that, but that's called that's interfering. That's like tampering with an election. And basically he could get kicked out of his presidency. Finally, come on, let's go impeach, impeach. And maybe he'll be gone. OK, wait a second. Oh, okay. No, we're not answering the marriage question. We're answering the Trump question, and Trump is definitely not handsome. Why hasn't Trump been impeached yet? No idea. Uh, President, yeah, exactly, Denise. So it's the president of your country. They had a little conversation. You can actually read the conversation online. So let's take a look if we can see it. Donald Trump conversation with president. It was online. You can find it. But actually, the pres the Donald Trump did not show the whole conversation. So of course he's hiding it. And there you go. You can see it here. I think it's on Scribe. See, look, you can even read. There it is. There's the conversation, the phone call they had together. But they didn't put all of the phone call. They're, they're basically, sounds like they're hiding it. Of course Donald Trump would be hiding it. So anyways, that was the question of the day. Not a clue. So if you're going to answer this question, you might say something like this. I don't know why DT hasn't been impeached yet. Right? So you would say this whole part, this whole why hasn't he been impeached yet? So that would be some that would be a way you could answer that question. See the segue? Little political talk, but bring it back to the grammar. Hello from Casablanca. Hello, Hamza. Hamza, 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 Hamza. Hamza's got a mustache for sure. I'm sure he does. All right, so there we go. Let's move on. Let's look at prepositions with this grammar. Mm -hmm. So let's look at this one here. They consulted us. Hello, Thomas. Get in here, buddy. Uh, they consulted us on what action they should take. So again, it's kind of like saying about here, but we can also use the what word. We can. They consulted us. Uh, okay, let me give you a sentence, and I'm going to give you a what word. I want you to finish my sentence for me. My teacher told me what, finish the sentence, Kent told me what, my teacher told me what, give me, finish that sentence with your own idea. So again, remember, you have to use what, and then you have to use a normal sentence. This is not a question. So you write normal grammar, active sentences after that sentence. So my teacher told me what I need to study. My teacher told me what I need to buy for him. Great idea. My teacher told me what, what your problem was. Man, student, what was your problem, man? Who? Oh. What, 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 what are some things that your teacher might tell you about using what, not why? You could use why. You could use what. I guess you could use whatever you want. Use why, use when, use how, use who. Use where, you can use any of those words. Who, what, when, where, why, how. Use any of them. Uh, okay, good. All right, now, only human, be careful uh, what I should do. Because remember, this is not a question. That, where is it? There. That is not a question. It's a normal sentence. So what action they should take. What I should do. Where I should go. Not where should I go, because that's a question. But this is not a question. So there we go. My teacher told me what exercise I should start with. It's OK. Only human. You are only human, and we all make mistakes. So that's OK. Humans make tons of mistakes. Some humans made some mistakes with my, with my account, and it caused me so many problems. Government humans messed up my account. It was really annoying yesterday. I was freaking out. I get angry quickly when it's like little organization problems, unfortunately. Again, I'm getting old. I guess that's what happens when you get old. You get angry quickly. 
Uh, I had to study more frequently. Good sentence, Gertie, very nice. Uh, Pilar, what I have come to school? Uh, maybe not what, but why. Why I have to come to school every day. A little bit different, not what, but why. Uh, or when, or who, or where, or whatever. Uh, my teacher told me what I should revise. Yeah, sleep warrior, perfect. You study something again, you revise it. Saeed, using that is possible. Yes. Maya, Maya is in the house. Uh, my teacher told me what my weak points were. Nice, good sentence. Ken told me what I have to do to improve my English. I believe he did. I believe he told you. Um, read books. Read everything. That's how you improve your English. And practice and all those things. Uh, okay, let's talk about another one. Let's try a few others. When a preposition belongs to a verb, like a family, in the WH clauses, it usually comes at the end of the clause. That's true. So, for example, here's another example. He asked me where I got the sweater from. All right, so, okay, let's finish this sentence. He asked me where I got the blah, 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 blah from. Finish that sentence. So, for example, he asked me where I got the gun from. Oh, my goodness. Or maybe the bubble gum from. So finish that sentence with your own idea. He asked me where I got the something from. Said, natives seldom say that. What? Is it correct? Say that. What? Sorry, Said, I can't understand your question. Natives don't say, native speakers don't say that or they don't say what? Do that question one more time. My teacher told me what I should do to solve my writing problems. There we go. Good teacher, nice sentence. Okay, what else you got? He asked me where I got the sun da 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 from. Or he asked me where I was from. He asked me where I got the da 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 from. Oh, nice one only him. Where I got my beauty from. Very nice sentence. I like that one a lot. Denise, he asked me where I got the money from. Yeah. Where'd you get the money? Where'd you get the money, Denise? Scotty, great name. Uh, what are some tactics on how to write good? Scotty, that's like, you know that's a huge question and that's going to require like a full class to answer that, right? Mm, how can I answer this in one word? Two words. Study IELTS writing. Online. This will help, Scotty. Study IELTS is four words. Study IELTS writing online. IELTS gives you a good system for writing in English. Really clear, shows you all the things that make a good essay. Uh, Lolly, where I got those delicious beers from? Mm, I had some delicious beer yesterday, Lolly. It was one of the breweries from Vancouver called Twin Sales, and they make delicious beer. So if you ever come to Vancouver, Lolly, you should go to this place, Twin Sales Brewery. Oh, look at this. Let's take a look. Let's just take, oh, there it is, that juice. That's a nice one. This is the logo here. They make really nice beer, and they have so many different types. Oh, beer, my friend. IPA, ooh, look at that, look at that. Sorry, I'm just going off a little bit. Space Armadillo, great name, double IPA. Oh, man, okay, let's go back. I don't have a drinking problem, I promise. I just like beer. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Sleepwalker, he asked me where I got my tan from. Great question. Uh, Maya, he asked me where I came from. Great question. And you said my mommy and daddy, of course. Saima, uh, he asked me where you got this dress from. And Scotty has got another question. Do you have any recommendations on where to eat in Canada? Yes, Scotty, you asked me a great question. Uh, where are you in Canada? That's the first question I have to ask you. There are some options that I'd like to tell you about, but first I need to know where you are. If you want just like a general place, then I can give you one. But if you're in Vancouver, I can give you a million. I can give you lots of places. Uh, okay, cool. Anywhere is fine. Um, the keg is popular. The keg is a popular place uh, for like steaks and stuff like that. But don't eat too much red meat. Save the planet. Uh, okay, so there we go. There's one. Yeah, try that one. That one's kind of everywhere in Canada. And it's pretty good. A little bit expensive, but pretty awesome. Try that one out. Okay, moving on. Uh, however, in informal English, the preposition comes before the wa in the clause. 
the WH. He asked me from where. Yes. Okay, so if you look at this sentence, let me show you these two sentences. One of these sentences is formal. Let's take a look at the formal one first. He asked me where I got my cheap flights from. Yes, I would like to know. That's a great question. So that's formal. And that's not formal. So let's take a look at what, what's the difference between those two. Okay, what's the difference? What's the difference you can see? Formal, he asked me where, from where I got the sweater, or informal, he asked me where I got the sweater from. What's the difference between those two? Speak to me like an English teacher and explain it in ways that's easy to understand. All those things. He asked me where I got the sweater from, or he asked me from where I got the sweater. What's the difference? Where is the difference? Let's try to give an example. Mm -hmm. So, anybody? Number one, yeah. <laughs> There's, it's not a one-two answer, Gertie. It's not a one-two answer. The preposition is at the end. Correct. Aisha, it is more formal to put the preposition before the relative pronoun. Mm -hmm. Prep is before noun. Correct. So if you put the preposition here, this is more <coughs> formal. Uh, from where did you get your sweater? Now, honestly, that sounds weird when you're speaking. You might not say, I would like, he asked me from where I got my sweater. Sounds kind of weird. So we might use it for formal writing, but we wouldn't use it for speaking. So we would say this one. He asked me where I got my sweater from, normal. Preposition usually goes at the end, but if you're doing formal writing, it might go here. Okay, just that, just that. All right, yeah, the first one is formal. The informal sentence preposition is at the end. Correct, Michaela, very nice. You guys all got it. Five stars for all of you, you get five stars have to give a star program here. All right, next one, what else we got here? All right, let's take a look at infinitives as well. The infinitive structure, to go, to buy, to study, to plus base verb, is often found inside a WH clause. This is often to refer to possible courses of actions. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Ooh, great, great topic, let's do this one. I never know how to, so here, I'm going to give you two options. Option one. I never know. Now I want you to finish these sentences. So finish them. How I should. That's sentence number one. And option number two. I never know how to. OK, so you got two options. And I'd like you to finish the sentence. Um, and the answer will be the same for both sentences if you look at the grammar. So for example, I never know how I should how I should. That's a weird one. Hello, Igor. Uh, I was approved to take the Celtic course and it's going to be in Vancouver. Would it be possible to meet and chat with you? Yes, Igor, yes it would. I will I will hook you up with my personal account pretty soon. Uh, today or tomorrow, okay? Uh, I'll, you'll understand. Um, but I'm going to hook you. I'll, I'll co connect with you. Uh, so when you come to Vancouver, we can meet up for sure. Uh, so I never know how I should. Okay, maybe I changed that sentence. Okay, well, anyways, what I wanted to show you is if you say I never know how I should, how I should study or how I should practice English, or I never know how to study or how to practice English, the answer is the same. So you actually have two options. So now, why, why do we have two options? So you, if I and I should are the same, we can get rid of one I and we just use two. Okay, so that's the easier way to do that one. Uh, you too, buddy. You too. Welcome. Welcome to Vancouver. You're going to enjoy it, except that it's going to be a little bit rainy. You might not enjoy that, but everything else will be amazing. Uh, okay, so there we go. So we got two ways to say that. Mm, let's try another one. I never know. Let's try another one. I never understand how to. So finish that sentence, or I never understand how I. Can da 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 da. So you got two sentences. So I never understand how to. Oh man. 
Maybe that's not a great example. Saeed, how preparing for an exam could help you be fluent? Mm? What's the question, Saeed? How preparing for an exam can help you be fluent? Uh, because you learn rules. If you prepare for an exam, you learn rules. You might learn grammar rules or vocabulary rules or writing rules or you know, reading, you improve your vocab. So yeah, preparing, you know, studying makes you more fluent every day. So study. Um, okay, so anyone got some answers for, for this? I never understand how to do math. What else don't I understand? How to sleep less? I have no idea. I need sleep. I require lots of sleep. Okay. Anyways, you go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna move forward here. Uh, do, 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 where are we going here? Okay, yeah, we got that. Let's go here. Whether and if. All right, so sometimes we also use these words. Oh, here we go. Saeed's got one. I never sent how preparing for an exam could help you be fluent. Great sentence, Saeed. Okay. Um, oh, that's what you were doing. You were, you were answer. Oh, I thought you were asking me a question. You were just finishing the sentence, of course. Great, Saeed. You're nice. Uh, Sleepwalker. I never understand how to explain something to children. Not four children, but two children. Okay, that's a good one as well. Very nice. Do English well, Scatty? Yeah, there you go. It's, it's hard. It's a mountain. You have to climb a mountain, and it takes a long time to learn a second language. I never know how to get up early. I agree, Aisha. I don't want to get up early. I think it's not that I don't know how. I know how. I just don't want to. I don't want to get up early. Okay, very nice. Now let's take a look at one more thing here with whether and if. You know these words, and basically these words are the same. In some situations, in some situations, they are the same. Okay, so we're going to look at one situation when they are the same. As objects of verbs, both whether and if can be used with yes no questions. So, for example, oh, great one. So, here's an example. I don't know if they are coming. Sure, you could say that. Or, I really wonder if it will rain tomorrow. Well, in Vancouver, Igor, you can be sure it will rain tomorrow or soon. If not tomorrow, the next day. Because we are in winter now, so unfortunately it is going to be a little rainy, but don't let it stop you from going out. You can still have a ton of fun, especially in the mountains. Go to the mountains, Igor. You're going to love the mountains. If you learn how to ski or snowboard, amazing hobby. All right, so let's look at a few here. Muna, I always confuse that expression weather and weather. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. Weather is different than weather. All right, let's, um, in my life, let me give you a great sign. In my life, I don't know whether, I don't know if I will finish that sentence. Sentence, no sentences. In my life, I don't know if I will achieve all my goals. I got some goals, I got some big goals. I'd like to achieve them. I think I can. It's just got to be hard work. I don't know if I will achieve all my goals. I don't know if I will ever get to teach in an evening schedule. On. Teach on. I really would like to do this. I think this would be amazing. I would like to sleep in the morning, wake up, eat breakfast, go to the gym, or maybe have breakfast after the gym go to class and be like ready to go because you know you go out you, you wake up you go to the gym you get a good sleep every night go to the gym go to class boom blow up that spot teaching teaching fabulous stuff that's what i want to do want an evening schedule i don't know if i will be able to do it yet there you go good sentence uh saima i don't know if i will go to canada or not yeah and good point we do usually say or not when we use if and when we use whether, we say blah, 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 I don't know if I'll be able to go to Canada or not, or I don't know whether I'll be able to go to Canada or not. Usually we do that. Good point. Uh, only human, should we add or not? Good. Yep, exactly. So it's not necessary. You don't have to add. Everybody kind of understands it's blah, blah, blah or not. So you don't have to say or not. But if you really want to just emphasize that, yeah, it's this one or this one, then you can put or not. Both are okay. Uh, in my life, I don't know if I will be fluent in English. Yeah, I mean, what's fluent, Denise? What's fluent? What like, what's your level? What level do you want? Is it level seven? 
Is it level eight? Is it level nine in a, like an IELTS score? So I don't know. Do you need to be fluent? Do you have to be fluent? You just need accents are cool. Keep your accent. So don't worry. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> Gertie, very nice. I really don't know if I will get married with Idris Elba. Let's take a look at Idris Elba because he's a pretty good looking guy. Oh, apparently he's married already. Bad news. Bad news, Gertie. Idris Elba, he appears. Yeah, yeah, he's a good looking man. He's a good looking guy. Apparently, Google has said that this man is married, Gertie. So I don't know if it's appropriate if you keep chasing after him. But uh, yep, I can see why. I can see why you'd be interested in Idris Elba. He's a good looking dude. Very nice. OK, very nice. What else we got here? Uh, can I say whether you get a car? I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if I will get a car or if you will get a car. Yeah, it's possible. I really wonder if I will continue to go to work. Mm, okay, good one, good sentence. Be able to handle any situation at any time. Okay. In my life, I don't know if I will play the saxophone or play saxophone again. Both are correct. Luna, I'm sitting. I'm studying hit set. Don't know what that is. I don't know if I will make it or not. Level like Kent. So basically, I grew up in Canada. Saima, I'm really a native speaker. Um, you might have to live in another English-speaking country for a long time to get that level. So don't worry about it. You can go for it. Go for it. I mean, it's always good to study hard and get as get as much as you can out of it. But don't do, don't go crazy about it, right? You know, you're you're good. You're good already, and you can just make yourself better. But don't expect to be a native speaker. It's not probably not necessary to be a native speaker. As long as you communicate, you're good. Uh, Maya, I don't know if I will quit my job. Just an example. I don't want to. I just want to express my thoughts freely. Well, yeah, there's that as well. Um, yeah, it does take a little practice. A little time. I don't know whether I will get a great job in the future if I will continue to work. Uh-oh. Only humans saying no to Gertie. <laughs> um, keep the hope alive, Gertie. I, I'm with you. You'll you get him. <laughs> Hit said is an equivalent for high, high diplomas in the USA. Okay. All right. So there we go. Some kind of academic, academic test. All right. Well, good luck, Mona. Hope you get it. Study hard. Do your best. That's all you can do. Do your best. All right, let's try. Do we have any more? No. Oh, OK, hold on. I think we got one more here. Uh, what do we got here? The WH clause is in a purple. Here we go. Let's try this one. When the WH clause is the object of a preposition, the only weather is used. OK, so let me take a look at this one. The argument was about whether we should move or not. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. That's a new rule for me. When the WH clause is the object of a preposition, so for example, we have whether after about, uh, only whether is used. Really? The argument was about whether we should move or not. The argument was about if we should move or not. That sound, that's news to me. I thought if sounds OK, about if we should move about if we should move or not, about whether we should move. I agree weather does sound better. Maybe it is a rule. Maybe it's a rule that native speakers break. Uh, but apparently, if there's a preposition here, you can only use weather. You cannot use if. So no, that's, uh, that's, that's tricky. That's a tricky one. It's probably correct. It's probably correct rule. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, OK, let's move on here. Uh, OK, let's practice this one. Sometimes, let's do this one. Finish this sentence. Sometimes, I like to talk about whether da 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 da, da or not. Please finish that sentence. Sometimes, I like to talk about whether I will go abroad and s teach English in another country again or not. Or sometimes I like to talk about whether I will take a week off or not. Or sometimes I like to talk about whether I will buy a PlayStation or not. I feel like I'd probably waste too much time if I bought a PlayStation, a new video gaming system. Because my friends play, and then I would play, and then I'd be spending a lot of time on video games. Hello, Sagar. Hello from India. Come on in. We're just chatting. We're making some sentences. We're finishing them with our own ideas. Sentences in the chat. 
So what do you guys think? Uh, sometimes I like to talk about whether da 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 or not. Finish that idea with your own idea. Aha, here we go, only humans. Sometimes I like to talk about whether I will, maybe not I reach, but I will reach or I'm going to reach a happy ending, I-N-G, a happy ending or not. Only human, I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure you just, I think happiness is surrounding yourself with cool people. For example, this smart chat is pretty cool. And cool people in your life bring more cool people into your life. And I think you will have a happy ending. You will be satisfied with your ending. Uh, sometimes I like to talk about whether, uh, when I am nervous or not, or whether I am nervous or not. So re again, remember, whether is like if. So if I am nervous or not, might be okay. Um, you like reading fiction books or, so sometimes I like to talk about whether you like reading books or not. You like to talk about whether you like reading fiction books or not. I'm not sure, the meaning is a little bit unusual, but the grammar was good for that sentence. All right, let's move on here. Keep, keep the sentences coming. I'm going to go on to the next one. Um, when the clause acts as a subject or complement, only whether is used. Whew, okay, what do we got here? No, 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 no. The question is whether that will work. When the clause acts as the subject or complement. Okay, let's look at this one because this is really the last thing I think I want to show you. I want to show you a different position. What do we got here? Some guys got, sometimes I like to talk about whether I should go out with friends or not. Okay, you like to talk about that? You don't go out, Michaeli? Just <laughs> talk about it? Maya, sometimes I like to talk about whether I will manage to come to Canada or not. Good conversation. Uh, what else we got here? Sometimes I like to talk about whether I should study abroad or not. You know, I don't know. Studying abroad is cool. It's always fun. Irna, uh, sometimes I like to talk about whether... Eh, not sure about the business ideas one. Sometimes I like to talk about whether I should start a business or not. That would be okay. Uh, sleepwalker, sometimes I like to talk about whether I will be brave to try something, something new or not. And Polar, sometimes I like to talk about whether I should move. No moving, just move. Move again or not. And Carmiton, and whether I will be a doctor or not. Very nice. All right, and I think the last one I'm going to do with you guys before we go on to an exercise is this one. I want to show you the, the, the clause, the WH clause, in the be beginning position. So whether or not you like me is not really important to me. Great sentence. Um, Okay, let me give you a new sentence. What? Ah! Oh no, where'd my chat go? Where are you, chat? Come back. Give me a second here. Closed it. Alright, let's try this sentence. Yes, uh, I will make you a copy, Maher. I'll put it in there. Let's do this one. What I love to do on Sundays is finish that sentence. Nice one. What I love to do on Sundays is, yeah, I will make a copy of this so you guys can have one as well. There's a lot. Here we go. Zoom. Done. Okay, I will give you all that so you guys will have an examples of everything we've done here today. And I will put that on a document for you. Just give me a second to create. Mm -hmm. Okay, but keep them coming. What else you got? So what I love to do on Sundays is relax. Uh, what do I what do I like to do on Sundays? I don't know. Play some video games, relax, go for a hike when it's summer in Canada. I might go for a hike. That's pretty fun. What do you guys like to do on Sunday? So again, we're using what I like to do is. So the what is basically the subject in your sentence there. Mm -hmm. Copy, copy, copy. All right, what else you got? What I love to do on Sundays is uh, not maybe not taking a nap, but take a nap because you're doing it every Sunday again and again and again. So you every Sunday you take a nap. Not you are taking a nap right now. It's every Sunday I take 
a nap or I sleep or every Sunday I go or every Sunday I study or whatever. Uh, okay, so just make sure don't use the ing for that one. Smart class 89 what clauses. Okay, there we go, getting closer. Uh, what I live to do on Sunday is walk. And again, same thing, no is walking, but just walk with friends. That would be okay. That's a good one. Go, and again, no no going, just go somewhere. Special, no a special, just one special. Uh, reading the Bible. Okay, there we go. Aisha, what I love to do on Sundays is go. Not, not going, but is go. Yeah, this is tricky, a little bit tricky. But is go to the beach. Let me just share that with you guys. Here we go. So document is coming your way. Lots of examples on here. Here you go. Okay, and what I love to do on Sunday is play guitar, cook for my family, and go and watch a movie with friends, and spend, S-P-E-N-D, time with my siblings. All good ideas. Hello, little animals. Hello, little giraffe and little, ooh, a rhino, cute rhino, and a liger. What's a liger? Anonymous liger don't know what that is. A liger is a hybrid offspring of a male lion and a female tiger. <gasps> They're breeding. They're breeding the animals. Oh my god, a liger. Why is that one fat? So this is a liger? It's like a half... Oh my goodness. They're breeding tigers and lions and it's a liger. Why would you do that? It's not necessary creating a new species like that. But yeah, it kind of looks like half tiger and half lion. If that's, a, if that's a real one, it says that they're real. Interesting. Why would they do that? Yeah. Okay. There you go. That's a liger. All right. Are we all good? Does this make sense? Okay. Cool. All right. So let's do, we'll do a little bit of exercise just to see, make sure you guys got all this down. I will also add these exercises too. So let's try this one here. Uh, so this one is a choose the best answer. So it says in each of the following sentences, sometimes we can use if, sometimes we can use whether, and sometimes both. Oh, so that's the preposition one. Delete any words that are not possible. Uh, I'm going to skip that one. Is that it? No, that's the only one there. Oh, man, it's the only one. Okay. <sighs> is there any others here? Nope, that's the only one. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So remember, remember, we're going to try this one out. Choose the correct answer. A lion would be a father or a tiger. I have no idea. Said, great question. Choose the correct answer. Uh, so here we go. Let's start with A. Now remember, if there's a preposition before weather, we need. If there's a preposition after the verb, we need whether. So is this sentence good or bad? The, di the game will definitely go ahead whether it is raining or not, or if it is raining or not. Sorry, it's, sorry let me say. Um, don't choose the best answer. There's not one. Sometimes, so sometimes both answers are correct. Okay, this is the rule. Sometimes both answers are correct, and sometimes only weather is correct. Okay, so that's that's the activity. So the game will go ahead whether. This is hard, but yeah. Apparently, this is the rule. So what is the answer here? Remember, is there a preposition here? That's really the question. Whether. People say weather, weather, both. So the rule is, so let me give it to you again, uh, ahead is a preposition. So according to that, so we should use weather. Okay, that's number one. How about this one? Whether or if you like it or not, you'll never play properly unless you practice. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. What do we think about that one? I think that I got that correct. Weather. Where was it? Weather and if. Yep. Okay. Yeah, here it was. Only weather is used. When the clause acts as a subject or a complement. Ah, right. That makes sense. Okay, here's another rule for you. So this is important. When the clause acts as a subject or complement, only whether is used. So basically, if you look at this sentence here, is whether the subject? What's the subject? It's whether. So if we have this subject, we cannot use if. So basically, if whether is at the beginning of the sentence, we can only use whether. We cannot use if. That's the rule. Okay, So that should make it easier. And if you look at this one, this example here, I'll give it again. Uh, whether you like it or not, you'll never play properly unless you practice. The correct answer is whether. Only whether. So remember, if you have this if or whether idea at the beginning of the sentence, you cannot. You cannot use if. It's got to be whether. Okay? Because it's like a subject. How about C? Let's try this one. Ah, sorry, Aisha. Sorry for your poor connection. Let's try this one here. One more. I don't really. I really don't know if. Oh, this is a good one. I really don't know whether to believe her or if to believe her. Ooh, that's an interesting one. That's a good one. What do we think the answer is here? If. Mm -hmm. So it's either both or only whether. That's your options. Options are, so remember, careful, options are both or only whether. Those are the only two options you get in this activity. So is it both or only whether? That's a good one. That's a good, that's a hard question. Uh, correct answer is Sorry, Marai. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, correct answer is it's only weather. Weather is the correct answer. So here's another rule for you to learn. If you use weather after that, <laughs> oh, wow, OK. Hate, hate, hate. Uh, let's see here. Bye-bye. Do, do, do. All right, uh, so the rule here is I really don't know whether to believe her. So if you have two, you see two, we got two. If you have two there, you cannot use if there. You can only use whether. So whether has some special rules. Now, you could say I really don't know whether I should believe her or, whether, or if I should believe her. That's OK. But if you have the two infinitive, it has to be weather. So weather has some special rules. So unfortunately, you will just have to remember those special rules. Sorry, English is not easy, um, but it happens sometimes. OK? Um, all right, let's go. Moving on here. Mm -hmm. All right. OK, next one. Say it again. Okay. So weather. Yeah, I know there's too many rules. So this is why you won't remember all the rules. But read books, right? Read books in English, and then you can learn these rules, but you don't have to remember each one. I don't know why those jader haters join the chat. I don't know. I guess they're bored. I guess they've not got nothing to do. So let's go hate on the internet. Hate, hate, hate. Who knows? Uh, okay. Anyways, let me give you the rule again. Um, do, give me, I'll give you the rule. So rule number one. If weather, weather, rule number one. After weather, oh, this is it's difficult to write the rule. So after weather, you can use two plus infinitive. That's rule number one. Okay? 
not if. No if, okay? That was rule number one. And the other rule was rule number two. Uh, whether at the beginning of the sentence, whether as a subject is okay. If is not okay. Okay, so that's another rule with whether. So if whether is at the beginning of the sentence, the subject, you can use whether, but you cannot use if. Okay, uh, next one. Let's try another one. Uh, let's try D. Here we go, here's another one. So again, the option is both are correct or only one is correct. So D says this. Uh, they'll have to decide if they really want to do it or not. Are both correct? Or is only one correct? Which one? No, no, no. Both. Shaima. Hello, Shaima. Shaima says both. Sleepwalker says both. Oh, you guys are... Oh, look at you guys. Look at you, Pikachus. Very nice. Sam Mars is in the house. What's up, Sam? Sam says both. Both. You guys are very smart. You guys totally rocked it. Yes, you are correct. In that situation, because it's you can see after if, it's a normal subject. We have a they. And if you have a normal subject, not an infinitive, you can use both. So you can say, they'll decide whether they go. Or if they go, same. But if they said to go, then you could only use whether. You couldn't use if. All right, very nice. Uh, OK, let's try another one. Let's try a more difficult one. Let's try this one. Oh, this one is tricky. Good luck. Good luck with this one. Um, is weather better? <sighs> weather is, if you look at the rules that we talked about, weather is usually correct. So I guess weather is better. All right? So if you use, sometimes if you use if, it's wrong. But usually, if you use weather, it's always correct. So I guess, yeah, weather would be better. Try this one. This one again, and this one might be the same rule. What's the rule? Remember, if there's a preposition, what was that rule? If only the final decision on whether or on if we commit ourselves will be made tomorrow. Mm -hmm. On is a preposition, correct? Whether. So what was the rule? Yeah, I think you guys got it. Rule if. There is a preposition before whether we cannot use if. Now this is a weird one for me. I kind of feel like, it, I was like, oh, it kind of sounds correct if you use if, but apparently smart says you don't do it. The final deci decision on whether we commit ourselves, if we commit ourselves. Yeah, I, I agree. Weather sounds better, but I don't know why. It just it, that maybe that is the rule. You cannot use if. So weather is safe. If is less safe. Preposition plus weather. All right. All right, this one should be easy. I think we've done this. I think we've done most of the rules already. So here's another one. Uh, G, I'm having difficulty deciding whether or if to accept their invitation. OK, weather, well. Only humans on it already. Weather. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Weather. Yep. I think we're good. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. You guys all got it. Amazing job. Perfect. There you are. See you. OK. Very nice. Do we have any? Let's see if we can challenge. Is there one more we can challenge you with? And no. I think that's about it. Mm, okay, last one. Last one. We'll do one more. Last one is I. I think you guys have the rules down. <laughs> oh, great. What's going to happen now? Uh, yeah, I got that. I got that the first time. Okay. Is that good? Are we taking that out? Mm-hmm. Hope we. <laughs> it's kind of entertaining. Uh, okay, last one. 
It was like a robot. It was like a robot. You're bad. Oh, okay. You're bad. It must be a robot. It must be a hateful, hateful robot. I'm sure robots will get smarter in the future and they will have more intelligent insults. But at the moment, the technology is a little bit low. It's a little bit weak. So we just get, you're bad. You're bad. You're bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, so the correct answer is both. You all nailed it. You are all amazing, super SMRT people. Correct, you can use both because we have the, we have the subject we. Because we have that we, because we, come on, don't do that. Because we have this we here, that means you can use if or whether. But if it was two, then you could only use whether. And I think we've done it all there. Kent is tomorrow's class. What? Really? Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Mariah, you'd be nice. You'd be nice, all right? We're all, we're all very cheerful, lovely people here. No hate, okay? No hating. If you don't hate, you can stay. Uh, it's the only thing, you know, so it seems that way. But anyway, we're going to give, we're gonna give Mariah a second chance to, to be lovely like the rest of us, okay? So we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, so I think, that's, I think that's all we got here for today. Um, so, that's the only thing. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so I think we got this. <laughs> yes, last chance indeed. All right, so um, hopefully the, this last section will go a little bit more smoothly. Um, so, uh, today I do have, I'm going to write this in here, some big news. And the big news of today is that uh, this is tomorrow. I'm going to type this just so everybody knows. Tomorrow is my last class in SMART. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, give you a little bit of heads up um, that I do have another opportunity and I couldn't say no to this opportunity. So tomorrow is going to be my last SMART class. Um, and, and I guess that's about it. That's the only thing I can say to you guys. So. We're gonna we're gonna do one more class tomorrow. It's gonna be a cool topic um, because yeah. Uh, so because I have, I was given a very good opportunity, and it's a yeah. It's a sad it's a sad day for oh JB's in the house. What's up JB? Uh, I was given a very good opportunity for a new job, and it is unfortunately in the afternoon at the same time that we do this smart class. Uh, I don't I don't know the replacement yet, but I'll, I'll probably I'll have more information and I can give you more of that information. Yeah, it's a teaching position. I'm a teacher, and uh, of course that's what I do. And sometimes, unfortunately, it's uh, <laughs> hello Diego. Sometimes it doesn't work. The timing doesn't work. So I just wanted to let you guys know that we'll we'll talk more tomorrow and we'll have one last class together to chat and maybe just have some some easy conversation, but also some good topics as well. So anyways, I just wanted to give you a heads up. I didn't want to, you know, just tell you just super quickly, oh, I'm leaving, see you later. So I want to give you at least a little bit of heads up one day. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. But anyways, we're going to see you. I love you, of course. I love you all, Lolly. Uh, but I love you guys, of course, and I love hanging out with you guys. But unfortunately, you know, it's life. Sometimes there are some changes that need to happen. Um, Maya's going to be away. So Maya, it was great work teaching you and talking to you and... Uh, if you're not going to be around tomorrow, big kiss, big hug uh, from Vancouver, Canada. You can come with me, Carmen, and come to Vancouver. You're, you're cool. Come with me. Uh, but anyways, we're going to hang out tomorrow and uh, one more time. And I tomorrow, if you guys are here, I'm going to I'm going to give you some some information, my social media, so we can keep in touch. And I've never seen a lot of your faces tomorrow, so for tomorrow, I will try to put it on the document, so so you guys can we can stay in touch. Okay, so that's it. I will see all of your wonderful texts and emojis tomorrow. We got one more class together, so we'll have we'll have some fun tomorrow. And uh, other than that, have an amazing day, everybody. No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Life goes on. You also have Julia. You have some wonderful, smart people to hang out with you guys and help you to continue to improve. But don't worry, we're gonna hang out tomorrow as well. So I hope you guys are all gonna be there tomorrow. Uh, I love you as well. I love all you guys. And I, it's been, I'm not going to say goodbye yet because we've got one more class tomorrow. But uh, I will give you that information tomorrow. And hopefully we can keep in touch through that way as well. Okay, so hope, come tomorrow. JB, you come there tomorrow. You know, haven't seen him in a while. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll talk tomorrow. 
and we'll say our official goodbye tomorrow. So for today, have an amazing day as usual. Big hug, big kiss from Vancouver, and I will see all of your wonderful emoji faces tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful day, everybody, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Big hug, bye-bye. Give me, give me, give me, give me.